Welcome back to the Ball Lake. Yes, it's the narrow boat in world's most disastrous restoration project. Yes, that's me. My name's Chris. I'm terrible at DIY, so this should be fun. And my partner in crime on this rusty adventure is Becca. And yeah, she's getting pretty handy at the old DIY, actually. And yet, I keep saying it was never meant to be a restoration project because we didn't get a bloody survey. All right, but we're, we're cracking on now. Well, Bex is anyway. I'm just moaning. And then off for three years of continuous cruise of every river and canal on the English network. Woohoo! So last time we left you, we'd lost uh, a crucial part of the frame to one of our hatch windows. Put the first one up. Can you see it? Well, we got one on, haven't we? And we think we may have left it up at B&Q when we were searching for new bits of framage or, or whatever you want to call it for these hatch windows. So, yeah, let's get our butts up to B&Q and try to find it. Fresh and bright and breezy on this quite chilly morning. Pride of eating soaking. Angrily stomping off to try and find her long knobbly thing. That's, that's the efforts of hard work, that is. She that's sleeps in them. Results. Sure, I do. Yeah, to keep me warm. It's a really crucial part to that hatch window and Becca assures me it's bespoke so it's going to be a bloody nightmare trying to replace it. Where else do you think it would be other than the, the home of wood, eh? In the ash pan of someone's fire. <laughs> Step one, have a quick nosy in the free wood bucket that is sat outside B&Q. Step two, enter the bright orangey overpriced building that is hiding our long knobbly bit for said vessel. Step three, look underneath and all that, you know. Me. Step four, wave arms aimlessly so that partner that had nothing to do with losing said knobbly thing feels you're doing everything to find said knobbly thing. God, I could go on forever here. <laughs> We are not finding it, are we, guys? I mean, we searched in this little back bit. Searched. I had a little nosy, but it just is not happening, is it? What a bloody ball ache. So, a couple of people um, rightfully commented on our video about how I'd forgotten to add the red and blue ends onto the tap to indicate hot and cold. So I've gone out, I've bought myself a packet of fruit polos to put on there. Only joking. What I actually did was go and raid my nail varnish collection. Because let's face it, nail varnish is just enamel, so I'm hoping it'll be fine. Painted these little washer things up that were already on there. Now I'm just going to fit them so we know which one can potentially scold your hand. One too tight, just in case they're still drying. They should be alright. <laughs> so there we go. Ta-da! So now is probably a better time than ever to check in the bow thruster area. Do you remember we had that horrible leak? that uh, caused all this flooding, mass flooding in the Wombat's bilges. Let's have another little look. We should make this a, a monthly thing, shouldn't we? A weekly thing where we have a little look if, there's a, if the water's come back in. So we've had the cratch covers put on the front now. Hopefully that eliminates any rain, any rain shed coming into the bow thruster area. But um, Alison did take it away again to tweak it a little bit. And it was during a day when it rained, but I'm not sure if it was enough to cause a leak, so let's have a little look anyway. Bloody mess, isn't it? Bloody hell! The swimming pool has returned. Could partly be condensation. That is a hell of a lot. That's a hell of a lot. I'm not really that surprised because it stood unprotected for ages without the holes being covered up that we identified where the water was getting in. So it was only a day or two where Alison took the covers back. It stood for ages since the survey for months without any covers on. Yeah, but we did check, didn't we? No. I thought I did. We didn't. I'm pretty sure I've had a little checky wecky yeah. at some point. Could have rained after you checked it. Maybe. When you say there's a lot, how much are you talking about? Like this. Oh, a couple of inches. 
Yeah, the only way we can sort this out is with... Who are you going to call? It's Titan! He's in hibernation at the moment though, isn't he? We just have to offer him some dust to see if you can coax oh. him out. Uh, it's a bit unfair, isn't it? You mum, your mum's got tortoise when they go into hibernation. Can you wake them up when they're in hibernation? Or do they go like mental and start everywhere <laughs> like, i don't think they do that no but they'd be pretty knocked i think it's probably a good thing if the old titan's aggy isn't it it might sort of take a bit of his frustration out right titan 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 he's not stirring he won't wake up he won't wake up then let's wake him up. Oh dear. Wakey, wakey. Whoa. Could not be having that in there, can we? This thing. Yeah. Nearly indecent, isn't it? Becca. I'm not like a mile away. Sorry. I thought you liked the uh, Titan's genitals. Again, slight on the Titan's hat. Time to nozzle up. Bit much. Never! Easy. I thought I'd woken him up, but as it turns out, he's not woken up until you switch his on button on, is he? over the bed. That's Titan, that's a Titan for you. There's so much energy the Titan, hasn't he? The cleaning procedure. Let's see what the Titan's had for breakfast. Mm. Seems like a water-based diet. Clean, said Titan. I mean, normally a leak is regarded as a bad thing, isn't it? But the Titan just makes it so enjoyable. I don't know what I'd do without these blimmin' leaks. Until next time, Mr. Titan. As many of you know, we absolutely adore our lovely blinds, don't we? I mean, they are amazing, and they are one thing that we are definitely going to keep on the Whistling Wombat. Isn't it, Bex? Yeah, I mean, they're almost as good a quality as those cork tiles, you know. Ah! Do it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm low on energy now. It's the end. We can't the... quite tear them off. These are pretty grim, um, and so to sort of for all the finishing touches for the kitchen, we thought it might be quite nice to sort of get um, some blinds that tie in with the colour of this. Oh, it's getting dark. So as you can see, I sent away for a few blind samples. That sparkly one or that, but would a sparkly one do it much in the kitchen? We've had our fun with the toilet. Do we want to have have the same sort of fun with the, the blinds? I think tonally, that one. I don't think those two, I think they're too blue. I don't think we should go sparkly. No. Because it's just a bit. Those two are identical. That's They're a bit just darker, very, is it? Very, very Yeah, very similar. Yeah, that's a touch darker. If we got all the viewers to go on the same website that you got the samples from, we could stick them onto the blind. DIY blind maybe. And it would be free, wouldn't it? <laughs> so hopefully we'll have them for the next episode, along with Becca hopefully plumbing in our water finally. We haven't had any water on the boat for about a year and a half. Bloody nightmare. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.